I'm Nancy Wolf. Welcome to another episode of Decorate Like a Pro. We're here at the World Market Center at the beautiful Forehand Showroom where we just completed a wonderful party decorating eight beautiful Christmas trees and one Hanukkah bush. Let me begin to show you. Let's see the first one. I call this the drama tree. This is a three bow tree where we did black, red, and gray. It's very beautiful, has wonderful mesh ribbon rolling through it, very wide 20 inch ribbon. We did some really fun things here, like this is a hair clip. You can get these very reasonably, we just clip those on. And isn't this a dramatic color scheme with the red, black, and gray? And you can see that we have some beautiful crystal clear ornaments that have wonderful bling on them. I love that bling. And also beautiful pendants that rotate along with it. This is a rotating tree. We decided to just put some feathers in the top. Now most of the time people put a star at the top of the tree, but not on this tree. We found some feathers and just stuck them in up on the top in a beautiful order. And there you go, we have this beautiful tree, fabulous three bows, red, black, and silver. I think it's wonderful. What do you think? Let's, let's go see the next one, okay? Now this tree I call the deer tree. This tree also has some black in it but a beautiful teal and sparkle ribbon that really is enjoyable. Also, we use the bow idea on this, but just a little differently. To tie it all together, we started with the deer at the top. Again, not a star, but the beautiful deer. Some different size and shape of ornaments that are on this, as well as something that looks kind of like sea coral coming out of it that's a sparkle teal and it's just absolutely gorgeous with the creams, the teals, the whites, the silvers. And you'll notice that we use some bigger lights on this. These uh, kind of night light lights rather than just the little twinkle lights. And you can see that that gives you a little variation with this tree. Also, a really fun idea is putting pillows under the tree or surrounding it with beautiful tables. Use your furniture, that makes it really great. This tree is only probably a, a six foot tree, but we put it in a way that it looks really grand. And it's a slim tree, so it can fit in any corner of your house. Let's see the next one. Now this tree we kind of call an old fashioned tree. I've got to tell you that this is the raffia tree. What I did on this was I took just some styrofoam balls and I put masking tape on the ball and then I took a little sponge and put gold paint on it and then tied the raffia ribbon. This gives it a really natural look. And the showroom is called Four Hands here. And so this is the Four Hands tree actually. It has four hands in it. And you can see these sewing spindles that are here with the beautiful thread wrapping around them. And then we took curly willow and put it in the top. So again, no star on top. We have the four hands in here, different spools throughout. And uh, the Michaelina Perry, the showroom manager, did this fabulous job of folding books. Now, I've never seen anything like it. It was so gorgeous, I thought, let's just put them in the tree. So we put those in the tree, and you can use different folds and make an ornament out of them. Look at this beautiful ribbon, too. This is just very burlappy. It has some writing on it. And all together, it just creates kind of a very natural tree. And the fun part about this is these boxes. You can put your kids, uh, your kids' presents in here. And at the time Christmas morning rolls around, you can just roll them out. And everybody can have at it. One more thing I just want to say is that we used, uh, this is a little noisy, we used paper actually for the skirt on this tree just to continue that kind of natural look. Let's go see the next one. Now this tree is a really large tree. It's nine feet tall. 
I call this the Christmas pass tree. And the reason is it has everything from all the Christmas pass that I have put together. This is a tree I'm using in my own home. And um, I, I love to think of it as a butterfly tree. Are these gorgeous butterflies? Don't you just love them? There are several of these butterflies on here. Every ornament, and when I started working on this tree, I thought, oh, this is never gonna come together. So just use anything you've got. We had, we had purple ornaments, cream color, silver, brighter purple, copper glitter, silver poinsettias, white ribbon, and the fun of this tree are these big socks. I have three of these big velvety socks that look like your Christmas stocking for the morning of. And look at these beautiful silver ornaments with the poinsettias on them. So altogether, the butterfly tree is absolutely fabulous. Turned out wonderful when I thought it wasn't going to. I just kept putting more and more on it until, whoo, there we go, Christmas pass. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, now this is the most fun tree of all. This is what I call the children's tree or the Noel tree. You can see I place the Noel letters around the base of this tree. And then I have these darling elves that are sticking out here and there along with these sequin pendants, different size ornaments from the big green ornaments to the littler red ones. That really creates a variation and makes it really fun. Also, the fun thing about this is I bought this wonderful red and green kind of sparkly, flowing uh, ribbon that has some pliability to it, and I just wound it in and out. And in addition to that, I just bought fabric, twall, and I put that in the tree. You can see this just going around. Rather than ribbon, I use this, and it wrapped all the way from the top all the way around. And this tree is going in the children's playroom and the children are so excited about it because it has all of their stockings on it. So on Christmas morning, these will come off and these will be by the fireplace filled with little Christmas ornaments. Another thing that I did that was really fun with this tree was I put some signs here next to it. So you've got now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, O Comet, O Cupid, O Donner and Vixen, Blixen. So up to the housetop. Anyway, it's absolutely fabulous. I think this is the most fun tree of all. Let's go see the Hanukkah bush. Well, I couldn't leave out the idea that the season is also the Hanukkah season. And so I put together this beautiful blue and silver tree, and it's really a bush because that's what it's supposed to be. And so I used white with little silver balls, blue uh, ornaments, and I have a pair of lovebirds up here. You can see them. That is the top of the tree, starting with a bow here. Now, the bow at the top is a little different than I did the other ribbons. You'll see it comes down like this and we have that all the way along. And then the other colored ribbon, we did it sideways and put little bows all the way around so this goes in layers. One, a little bit wider, a little bit wider, and then there you go, a beautiful Hanukkah bush. All right, so let's go see the next tree. This is my favorite elegant tree because it's the Believe Tree. And this is all done again in the silver and teals. And I just love these snow-covered ornaments that are just silver and sparkly. There's a beautiful mesh ribbon that just goes around the outside. And the fun thing that I did here was I wrapped presents. And they have silver and the teal and then the ribbon. And you notice I must love those butterflies because there's more of them. Now the top of this tree is a great surprise because we use little ball ornaments that just stick out and look like an explosion is happening, almost like a floral treatment. 
and it just is another slim tree for a small area. But the secret of this tree is the variation of the large ball, the medium size ornament, and then the clusters. And you'll notice that we have little things sticking out that are sparkly. And of course, again, we use ribbon. And I love the skirt. It's a white and silver sequin skirt, and I even have pillows to match. And this would be beautiful with all the presents Christmas morning underneath this tree. So right next door, we have another tree. This is the baby tree. <laughs> this is for those of you that like the water and the ocean and the sea, which I do. Again, we have some sea coral, white, uh, beautiful, uh, looking like sea coral, sequiny top for the tree. No star again, but starfish. And so you can see that this is our sea tree. And the fun thing about this tree is it is so simple because we just have these beautiful lights, the baby lights, and again, the big round lights, as well as these are very real starfish. And what was so simple about the starfish was when you set it in the tree, it sticks to it. You don't have to have a hanger or anything because it has its own natural hanger. <laughs> and we just love this tree. Okay, so let's go see the next one. All right, this is the last tree, and I think it's really exciting. It's a beautiful children's tree again, kind of just done with more of the greens. The fun thing about this tree is the ho-ho ribbon. We, uh, we taught people how to do these bows at our class where you use a double ribbon. So we have the ho-ho and then a little dotted ribbon underneath, and we just place those around. And over and above the ho-ho ribbon, uh, we use some beautiful red and white sparkly ribbon that just went around the tree. And one of the ways that we did that was we just used loop and loop and then this beautiful sparkle. So you can play with it. You can't do anything wrong. It's just absolutely perfect. This tree is just filled with ornaments. Just every ornament we had, we put in and added this beautiful red and white bow with a little sparkle and you see that we put hoops and then just carry it around you cannot make a mistake about this around it goes and it just goes all the way around the tree and ends up at the top where you have a darling little animal and the beautiful berries up on top that's the top of this tree so this tree layered and layered and layered with presents, different size ornaments, ovals, rounds, all greens, reds, all different colors, and really made with these fun little animals a, a tree that children could really love. So this tree we called the elf tree, but another children's type tree, a, more of a traditional Christmas tree. So that is our eighth tree. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all of these wonderful trees. And right now I have a special guest to introduce you to. Come on with me. This is Michaelina Perry. Hi, Michaelina. Hi. And she is the wonderful Four Hands showroom manager. And to tell you a little bit about Four Hands, I use their products all the time because they're just fabulous they get things from all over the world and bring them in they're the beginning of the green i'll tell you when people are recycling and thinking of those kinds of things four hands does it isn't that right yeah yes we try to really stay on top we have stellar designs and we love having nancy come in and bringing her guests and actually decorating for the holidays in here she also teaches design classes but we had so much fun doing this holiday event in our showroom and supporting uh, you, Nancy. Well, thank you so much, and I appreciate it so much because everybody loves coming here. They talk about it all the time, how beautiful the showroom is and how wonderful it is. This is a to-the-trade showroom in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada at the World Market Center, and Michaelina Perry is the person to see when you come here, so be sure to come and see her if you want anything in the way of wonderful furnishings. I've sure enjoyed this 
party that we had and all the fun of putting those things success. together. We had over 38 people show up and they all had a good time. They're still talking about it. They went to other buildings in Building C and they said how much fun it is. It's a lot of fun. So we had a great time and I hope you had a great time today. I'm Nancy Wool. This is Decorate Like a Pro. Welcome to this episode. See you next time. Happy decorating.